You can find the light manager in the array toolbar. By clicking the lighting button twice, you can access the light objects tab or you can also manually click it. It shows a list of all lights in the current scene. The common light parameters like name, color, intensity and type are displayed. You can edit the name by double clicking and editing it. Also the color can be changed and also the light type by choosing the different light type from the drop down. Parameters that are specific to a single light source are shown underneath. Just select the light source and edit the light parameters. In the case of a rectangular light source, you can adjust its width and its length. You can turn on and off single light sources by just simply activating or deactivating them. Also, you can use the solo function to see the contribution of a single light source. This allows you to adjust the lighting in the scene. So let's do this quickly. So look at the contribution from the first light source. So we'd like to add some more lighting on the side to see the edges better. Also we increase the intensity. Now we can go on with all the lights. So here we see barely any contribution. So let's move this light source to add a catchy rim light. And now we check the other light sources. So maybe we move it down there to get less of the lighting here, but the more intensive rim. This light source looks fine. And now we see the final product. You might have noticed that a light source that does not have a type assigned in the list is also shown here. In Ira for Rhino, also materials can emit light. If a material has an emissive property, like the light bulb behind the logo that you can see here, it will be shown in the light list. To edit the material, select it and click the material editor button where you can edit its properties. However, you cannot change the light type of an emissive material. If you want to learn more about our software, visit us at nvidia.com slash iray.